Ready to Die By. I'm Chris. And I'm Nate. <laughs> today we're, we're fasting. We did it yesterday and today. And yeah, we want to just talk about a little bit about fasting. That's right, um, Chris. We fasted yesterday. We uh, skipped breakfast and lunch, and That's then right, <laughs> and then we ate dinner. And we had a beautiful, lovely dinner. We had pancakes, and Nate had eggs with veggies, and we had some meatballs. It was so good. And oh, sorry, yeah, Chris had <laughs> eggs, <laughs> um, and and I didn't. Um, Nate doesn't like eggs. Yeah, I don't like eggs. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and so we're fasting for a couple of different reasons. One, it is Good Friday. And so that's something that um, I used to do when I was younger. I, uh, I used to fast over the Easter weekend for religious purposes. I don't typically do that anymore. And uh, I'm not particularly religious anymore. But it's still, I think, a really good habit. There's some health benefits to fasting that we don't really care about. The real reason why we're doing it is because sometimes Chris gets really upset if dinner is going to be late and he thinks that, um, uh, you know, he's going to starve to death. And so I've told him many times that you can actually go about three weeks without food before you die kid might be a little bit less, but you can still certainly miss a meal. And so I thought it might be a good idea for us to try out fasting so he could see what it feels like to be hungry and know that he's not going to die. So now it is 830. Uh, normally we would have had breakfast by now or about to eat breakfast. Actually, a lot of times we'd still be in bed right now, but we have gone to Lowe's to pick up some wood for our garden beds we picked up some compost um and uh we've done nate's done a lot of digging we've done a lot of stuff are you about to start for death no how do you feel uh full full From yesterday yeah i mean it was a big it was a big dinner and um i'm not gonna be hungry not until dinner time yeah i think we can do it again now did you die yesterday yeah, <laughs> he, I I'm, died and then I restart <laughs> uh, back to life. He he did start to get a little hungry, a little upset. Uh, he with just a little bit of encouragement though, he was okay and he was to make it all. He made it all the way to dinner time without any snacks. All we had was water. And I was so proud of him. And so um, part of his reward was as long as he was fasting, he got unlimited screen time so i think that was a big motivation too so he woke up this morning and said you know what hey let's do it again so we're fasting again and chris is gonna do it again <laughs> and yeah i said if he wants to do it then i'll do it too now we are not gonna do this every single day yes, i hope we no we're not yeah, we, are. <laughs> we are not gonna do this every single yes, day i'm gonna wait until three weeks and then we'll stop <laughs> <laughs> But I think it is a good idea to do it once in a while. Like maybe if we're doing three it three weeks until you die. No, nope. I'm not going to die in three weeks. Yeah. Oh, you mean? <laughs> well, no, if we have dinner every day, then if we, we don't won't have die. Dinner every oh, day. get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> But we, we have been talking about maybe doing a, fe a fasting Friday once a week where we just kind of have a relaxing day. Uh, don't do I a whole lot of work TV or anything. He gets to watch lots of TV. <laughs> and we fast to kind of practice that self-discipline and practice knowing what it feels like to be hungry. And um, I think it's a really good exercise in self-control and hit discipline. That, hit that Easter thumbs button. Easter thumbs up. Uh, hey, guys. It's me, Chris, from the future uh kind of um well if you're watching this i'm actually from the past but future from what you're seeing uh, here and so uh i just wanted to give you an update we actually finished our fasting and it went well i spent the entire day doing various types of yard work we <laughs> we dug up a bunch of compost and loaded a bunch of compost into the trunk of the car a full, a full trunks worth of compost we went shopping we dug up some blackberries blackberry bushes and transplanted them back to the house planted those built two garden beds um it was just a bunch of work got all this stuff ready and cooked dinner and washed dishes did all that without eating anything and it was fine and this was a great experiment to see and 
not just see, you know, wonder, can I do this? Like, you know, I can probably do it. I think I can do it. I know that I can do it. I know that I can do a full day's work, full day's worth of physical labor um, without eating anything and be fine. It wasn't the most fun. I felt like I was moving a little bit slower. I could definitely feel that I didn't have as much energy, but I was okay and I could have kept going if I absolutely had to. Uh, the key was just to stay hydrated. You know, I was drinking water. I did cheat at the very, very end as I was cooking dinner. <laughs> I had a half a bottle of Gatorade because I was getting a little bit of a headache. And so I think I probably wasn't drinking enough water because I was moving around a lot. But it was a really good experience, I think, both for me and the boy. Uh, he didn't do that much labor. He did in the morning. He did a half day's worth. And I think that's a lot for a kid. And he also didn't eat anything until dinner time. That was um, probably 6.30. So we got up at around 6 a.m. to get to Lowe's before, you know, as they were opening to beat the crowds so we could get a couple of things we needed. And we were going all day. So a solid 12, 13 hour day of work without any food. So it can be done. We did it. Um, and now we have that reassurance. We don't have to wonder if, if that's something we can do in an emergency scenario. We know that we can. And that's an amazing feeling. And so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, and I'll let you get back to the video. So, But fasting, it's, a, it's good practice these things. Anything that, you, anything that you think you might have to do in an emergency scenario, go ahead and practice it now when it's not an emergency. So you know what you can do. You don't rise to the occasion. You fall back on your training. Enjoy the video. Be like this lady. She likes our videos. Be like her. And make sure to subscribe and hit that bell for notification. Mm -hmm. We want more subscribers. We think we have a great channel with lots of good information. We need 30 hundred. We need 30 hundred thousand million subscribers. The whole world needs Yay! to know about Ready to Die Fighting. Yay! Help us do it. Yeah.